What's up, my people? Y'all hit the like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about WAC 100. Now, WAC 100 had you know, some more conversation on Clubhouse in which where he had some things to say about Big U. But aside of that, Hassan Campbell let out another clip or another audio of him, you know, you know, pretty much having some things to say about Gilly the Kid or Gilly the King and Wallow. Now, aside of this, man, like I'll just think back when, you know, uh, WAC 100 was talking about how he didn't even know Hassan Campbell had dissed him. No, 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 y'all stay with me. He didn't even know Hassan Campbell had dissed him. That's how little he knew about Hassan Campbell. Let him tell it, right? Now, what type of men, like these, these men of 2022, the, the street guys of 2022, gossiping and fat mouthing so much, you know, so much chatty patty that he was telling this man all this business, a guy that he said it, he didn't even know. He didn't even know much about Hassan Campbell, so much so he didn't even know that Hassan Campbell had made a video previously about him. At the same time, this is a guy to come back and speak and, and, and said all these things about all these men that he claimed they had built relationships with, such as a Gilly the Kid, um, a Wallow, and beyond. You know, these guys he claimed they had built a friendship or a relationship with or just somebody that he has as a partnership whenever he want to get some things done. When they come to California, they got to check in or, or when he wants some things good done, he can squeeze them. Uh, that's what he said to Hassan Campbell. Nevertheless, when you hear the audio, I'm hearing a man from, from a different perspective. What I'm hearing is I'm going to move the recording from a man aside. I'm just going to talk about WAC 100. You know, now this supposed to be a street guy that came back and told all the business of Big U, who he said was his homeboy. He he once said that Big U was like his road dog, where he had a utmost respect for Big U, so much so that you know he he uh, put moves together and different things because of the respect that he had for Big U. Many guys that know know. Outside of that. You know, he came back and told Big U or allegedly Big U business that he had with whoever else. He told it to a man that he don't even know. Aside of that, I seen a Gilly the Kid, Gilly the Kid speaking high of WAC 100. I remember Wallow speaking highly of a WAC 100. To see that he would come back and be talking or having some type of disdain or speaking to Hassan Campbell, a guy that he said he don't know now, gossiping to another man about Wallow, Nori, and, you know, uh, Gilly the Kid. I mean, just to see the, the, the way that this man move and slither and snake, it happens in your real world. And I, I'm, I'm ready to move him to the side to correlate it with your real life. A lot of y'all got a lot of people that y'all tell y'all business to and they run back and tell another motherfucker. Or the minute y'all get mad at each other, everything that you told them, all your darkest moments, all your secrets that you thought y'all would take to the grave and whatever, they went and told another motherfucker that you didn't like. Or or the person that they know didn't like you, they went and told your business to them. And I, I say this because when I look at somebody like Wack 100 to see how easy he was to be caught on camera or, or to be caught on audio saying all of these things about all these other people. Can you imagine the things that he's saying to other people that, that's not getting recorded? You know, a lot of these people, you know, you go and telling your business to a lot of these dudes that seeing or acting as though they're your friend and smiling and acting like you got a partnership or you're getting money together, even in the streets and in the industry. You see a lot of these guys have ulterior motives. A lot of these guys really look at you as if they're going to squeeze you or they're going to they're going to they're going to extort you and many other things in order to get done what they want done. Now this is a sign camera like I said once I say twice. This is somebody that he said that he didn't even know the man this. Now, everybody on the internet know that Hassan Campbell been the guy talking about the rappers. From Jim Jones to 6ix9ine to, you know, uh WAC 100 and many others. You know very little about the man that you didn't even know he made videos about. You go gossiping to this man that you don't even know nothing about. As a street guy, as a dude that got, you know, a, a gang culture background, as a guy that did time in the system, guy that did time in jail and beyond. Like, when I sit and look at these dudes, man, to me, I feel as though, you know, a lot of these dudes that's coming up and calling a guy like Wack 100 OG, you know, look at the dudes that they looking up to. Look at the dudes when they, when they sit back, when you really unpack it. You know, the guys that's coming up in the gang culture, these young dudes, yeah, got, you know, the, the OGs that don't want to go put the work in no more, they send the little homies. You know, a lot of them dudes that's looking up to the whack 100s of the world, you know, uh, just look at how he carry himself and look at what they looking at as a measuring stick, right? When I see these little dudes, man, I like, to me, I look at them and I say, man, the future is in bad shape. When you cut the music on, listen how the rappers go back and forth with destruction. Step on this, step on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you listen to the rappers and you look at the women, black women, over-sexualize each other. Look what our daughter's looking up to. Now, I know um, discipline and, and the way you raise your children starts in the household. But at some point, we all get inspired by our favorite entertainers as a youngster. Or we have some entertainer that we liked or, or somebody that we looked up to and we said they like what you like what they do and beyond. 
Aside of that, you know, uh, when I look at the rappers, when I look at the entertainers, when I look at the guys that got labels and, and guys as management and beyond, Wack 100 is a manager of many other guys. And look how he talk about everybody business to a guy he don't even know. Aside of that, I'm going to get into the clip in which where Hassan Campbell showed that, you know, Wack 100 had a lot to say about Gilly the Kid and Wallow and also Nori. Um, he talked about how he's going to squeeze these guys, or he can squeeze these guys because they got to come to California, basically in an extortion type of, you know, conversation. Aside of that, I'm going to get into the clip and then we're going to speak a little bit further. Jimmy and Wallow and fucking the nigga Tree Champs, I squeeze them niggas when I want to because they know they got to come out here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Gilly and Wallow and fucking the nigga Tree Champs, I squeeze them niggas when I want to. Them niggas is 150% what we doing, that's it. I don't want to talk to Big U, my niggas, so I get caught. I don't yeah, give a fuck. Doing now, man, like I say, at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want to do in your world. I can't tell nobody, you know, how to react or I can't tell nobody how to carry themselves in their world. But in the real world, we're going to move these rappers, these entertainers to the side. See, I like to take the entertainment world that I know that everybody watching and correlate it with real life, right? So anytime you go to your job in real life, the guy that's on the line is working with you, but the minute you do something that, you know, he know it ain't quite right or, or you made a mistake on the line, a mistake in your paperwork, whatever it is, he go back and tell the supervisor, you know this, man, you know that he, he messed up on that paperwork. A lot of times you build alliances with guys that have ulterior motives. A lot of times you telling your business to people that run back and tell somebody else. The minute, the minute y'all not cool no more, maybe y'all even might still be cool. They go back and tell somebody else. You know, they say, uh, betrayal comes in many forms, you know, backstabbing, you know, many, many things that you see in our communities that get many guys life took. You see it on a day to day basis from male and female. And I just correlated back to the working system. You know, a lot of times, a lot of people done lost their job because a person they thought was their friend went and told the supervisor or something on them and it made them lose their employment. So, so, much so they couldn't even provide for their family and many other things where you see that even in family, they say family do you the worst. You go telling the family your business or go telling, go telling your friend about your relationship. And then when y'all no longer together, you and uh, dude messing with your woman or, or she, she hitting on the man that you once was with. You no, know, it, it's many different measuring sticks that you see betrayal, betrayal comes in many forms so when i sit back and i hear whack 100 talk so down about big U now because whatever he did with you no know, jim jones beyond i ain't getting into that maybe they got some whole other street policy in no regard even if you're not cool with a big U no more should you go be talking about his business to another man or or if you if you feel as though wallow and gilly the kid or gilly the king ain't your homeboys you know that you would go be talking about you know how you can squeeze them or, or whatever it is. I, I don't know if you saying you can get the job done or extortion. Either way, I just from the sound of it, from what what the YouTube streets is reacting to, it don't sound like somebody that was really a friend to nobody. It seems like a lot of these guys is in it for self. It sounds like a lot of these dudes really have no loyalty to nothing but the green piece of paper that is meant to divide us in so many ways. Look how many people get their life took. All for the love of money. Look how many people, you know, betray each other. How many best friends are no longer best friends? How many best friends that killed each other for the love of money? They say, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And so many times or too many times you see when somebody uh, closing some deals or when people, you know, politic and trying to get to the bag, you know, get to the bag is a destruction in many forms, especially in our community, because we kick each other in order to get there. We backstab each other in order to get there, betray each other in order to get there. I ain't going to harp too hard on it or harp too long about it. I just I know when I hear that audio and it seems like it's getting deeper and deeper. It seems like, you know, uh, whack 100. I can only imagine the things that's not getting recorded. One thing that I can say and I will say about, you know, Hassan Campbell, one thing he said that was real and was true. He said to the young guys, you know, uh, uh, you know, watch how you chatty patty or loose lip or I'm just paraphrasing whatever he said. You know, watch who you're talking to because you don't even, you know, you don't even know a lot of these guys and you're telling your business to them and you're telling all these other things, paraphrasing. But basically what he's saying about what WAC 100 done, you don't even know that, man. You said that you didn't even know Hassan Campbell enough. So, so you didn't even know that he had been making diss videos about you and he sat back and recorded you. And he made the ultimate checkmate, whether you agree with the recording or not. Because me, I look at it like if these street guys, I don't even agree with the phone recording conversation. But maybe he was playing from a different angle to expose what these guys truly are. Ain't my business. I don't know. But at the end of the day, what I do know is Wack 100 told a lot of business and said a lot of things to a guy he don't even know. As a street guy from the gang culture that did time to me. That's a no. That's a, that's a, an embarrassment in so many ways. But at the end of the day, who am I? Each one, teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to grow together. 
Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about WAC 100, uh, what he had to say about Nori, you know, Wallow, Gilly the Kid, Big U and Beyond. Each one, teach one. Love and respect, 100.